You've got a brilliant developer team, a lineup of exciting projects, and a fast-paced workflow. Sharing new environment variables and updating existing ones with your team members feels like juggling an array of scattered pieces. The onboarding process for new team members has become a puzzle in itself. Introducing InPhysical, an end-to-end -end platform that puts the power of centralized secrets and configuration management right at your fingertips. Say goodbye to the pain of managing numerous secrets for for multiple environments, projects, and infrastructure. With InPhysical, you can now streamline the entire process, creating a cohesive and organized approach to keep your team and infrastructure on the same page. To use InPhysical, you can use their cloud version. It also offers a free tier, ideal for trying out the product. You can also self-deploy it by following their instructions on the documentation. Or you can use our platform, Elestio, to install the free self-hosted version on the cloud provider of your choice. On Elestio, Hit Login, then deploy my first service, search for InPhysical, select, choose the cloud provider of your choice, I will choose Scaleway, I will keep France region, I can select the service plan, and I hit Next. I will keep the default level of support and create service. I received the email with the link to access my instance, I click on it. Now I need to create my account, I will do create an account, sign up with email, I enter my account address, get started. They send me a verification code to my email address. I copy it in my clipboard. Now I need to enter my name, organization, optional, and a password. Now they ask me to download a PDF, which is my emergency kit in case I lose my account. This contains a sign-in URL, which is my server URL, my email address, and a secret key to generate a new password. Now I'm able to invite my team. I will skip this. This is what we see when we arrive for the first time on InPhysical. We have already an example project, but we have a very useful onboarding guide. What I really appreciated is their InPhysical demo. It's an onboarding guide and also promotional because it shows you the main features you can use. Let's start by looking at what a project is. We will use the example project. We will go and explore. It contains the following secrets. Datables URL, username, password, and the tool your auth token and website URL. But if you look at the database URL, you can see it's not just directly the URL, it's using other secrets as a variable to create the database URL. This is the kind of feature that is very useful and that you wouldn't have using environment files but you could generate the URL inside your code. You can see it is split into three environments. You have development, you have staging and projection. But currently, staging and projection don't have environment variables. To add the environment variables for staging, go to explore staging, but you can just copy paste from another environment or I didn't find a way to do it. We need to go to development, download it as an M file, go to staging, upload the file we just generated, and now we have the same for staging and development. Of course, we don't want to use the same value, but what we want to use is the same key. If we could have a copy-paste, it will be very useful. You can reveal all the secrets, download it as an M file as we just did, do some commits, but this is only on the enterprise license, add some secrets or folder to keep your secret structures. You can create a folder, for example, AWS, and in AWS, you will put the secret key or anything. This is it for the basic edition of secret variables, but it is way more user-friendly than editing an environment file. Inside your project, you can attach any other member, but when you add another member, you can give them specific access for the dev environment, no access, read only, add only, read and write, and same applies for staging and production. Let's add another member. But first, we need to add members to the organization first. So I will add a member. I will put my address with a plus to use the same Google account. I accept the invitation here. I create my account, sign up. Again, the emergency kit, download PDF, and I'm ready to go. On this account, I'm using private browsing. Let's go back to my main account. I reload, I can see that this user isn't part of any projects yet. So I will go back to my project. I'll go to members and I will add this member that is in the organization. Oh, I misclicked. I need to go to members, add a member and add a member. Now 
this user has access to the project, but it has all access currently as a member. But dev, we will say read and write, but for staging read only and prod, we don't want to give this user access to production. Now, if we go back to this user account, we can see we have example project and there are three environments. But if we go and explore into development, we can see there are the variables, there is staging, but there is no production because I don't have access to it. If I go to development, I'm able to edit it. But if I go to staging, now I can't write, it's read-only. Just for this feature for me in physical is a must have. But we can go further by using in physical on a project. We can add some integration. For example, we can run GitHub on our repository. So it will tell us that there are some secrets that might be leaked. So we need to secure it. But there are also a lot of integrations that you can add. You also have audit logs to know who did what. For example, on the second account, I just viewed some secrets and I can see everything that user did and I'm sure what happened on my account. If we go to project settings, we can see we have the three default environment because it was the example project, but maybe you are just working with development and staging so you can only create two environments or maybe you have more environment, maybe uh, one environment just for the sales. So you can create another environment and make it available in, in physical. You can also add tags to the secret. For example, we created a folder for AWS, but you might say, OK, this secret is coming from the marketing team. So you will add this tag to some secrets that are related or this one is related to the sales because they have access to this software. So now you have your tags, you go into your secrets, explore development and you can add tags. For example, Twilio we will say it's only the marketing team that has the access. So now you know it's related for the website URL. OK, we won't put one for the database. You could say it's developer if you want to specify it. But let's add anything. Now you can save changes and you have more information added to your secret. You can also add some comment to add some details or information to the developer or to the team on how this environment variable work or secret. Now we've seen how the platform work, but we need to be able to use those secrets in our project. Let's have a look at it. On the dashboard you have in the onboarding guide, inject secrets locally. You select your platform. I'm in Mac OS. I can download CLI. I copy it. I run it in the terminal, but I already have it. So it's just prompting me to reinstall it. Then we need a project to inject those variables we will be using next. So yarn create next app. What is your project name? Let's name it in physical demo. TypeScript no, uh, no, Tailwind no, source directory no, no app router will use no, it's no importance, it's just to show how it works. Once it's done, I open the folder. Now I can run a yarn and yarn dev. Our next project is running, let's add in physical. The next step is to run in physical login. So in physical login. So there are two options in physical cloud. Me, I'm not currently using it. I'm using LSTO, so it's the self-hosting version. Now I need the URL. You can get it from the address here until app. And I paste it here, enter. It's trying by default to log me via browser, but as we are the self-hosted version, it's no need. We can hit Q and run the credential way. I enter my email and my password. Perfect, it tells me that I'm logged in on InPhysical. Now I need to choose the project to attach it. So InPhysical, init. InPhysical, init. Now it's listing me the projects I have. So I only have example project. I hit enter. Now it's correctly linked to my project. If we go to the file, you can see you have InPhysical JSON. Now to have access to variables from InPhysical, we need to do InPhysical run, dash dash, and our code to run the start script. For us, it means in physical run dash dash, yarn and dev. It's telling me that in injecting five in physical secrets into my application process. On next project, the way it works is a bit different. We need our environment variables to start by next public. So let's let's add one. Next public and let's say API URL. 
we'll say it's ls.io slash API. Okay. Here we have it. And we will go also to staging and add the same. But we will say staging.ls.io slash API. So we don't have the same values here. Now in our project, go to pages, index.js. Okay. And where can we put some code? Let's replace here with process.env.next public API URL. I need to restart the server so I'm sure that the variables are injected. Okay, so now it restarted. We can now see ls.io slash API. So we are currently using the development environment variables. Let's try to run it in staging. So it's in physical run dash dash on staging. And then our command yarn dev. It restarted. And now we can see staging.ls.io slash API. Of course, this video plus in physical onboarding guide will help you a lot, but I also recommend you to read their documentation. It is very well written. Thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video. If it's the case, please hit the like button. It really helps this content be more visible to other open source lovers. Don't forget to subscribe to not miss our upcoming platform overviews. And you can continue your open source software journey by watching this video here.